Good evening and welcome to another edition of the reading of the book of the prophet of Jeremiah chapter 11, chapter 12 and chapter 13. Chapter 11, 12 and 13. The book from the Old Testament, the book of the prophet Jeremiah chapter 11, 12 and 13. Chapter 11. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Hear ye the words of the covenant and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of is Jerusalem, and say unto them, Thus is the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyed not the word of this covenant, which I commanded to your fathers in the day that I brought them forth from the land of Egypt and from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice and do them according to all that I command you. So shall ye be my people, and I will be your God, that I will perform the oath which I have sown unto your fathers to give them the land flowing with milk and honey. Uh, as it is this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, Lord, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked everyone in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah, and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of the forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods, unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them or at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of thy cities were thy gods of Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have he set up altars to the shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore pray, pray not thou for this people, neither lift a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What has my beloved to do in mine house, seeing she has wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee? When thou, do, thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest. The Lord called thy name, a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit, with the noise of a great tumult he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee has pronounced evil against thee for the evil uh, of the house of Israel and the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. And the Lord has given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then thou shows me their doings. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew not they had devices, devised this, devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off in the land of the living, that his name may no more be remembered. But, O Lord of hosts, thou judgest righteously, that tries the reins and the heart, let they see the vengeance on them, for unto thee have I revealed my cause. Therefore, thus says the Lord of the men to Anathoth, that seek thy life, saying, Prophecy not in the name of the Lord, that thou die not by our hand. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. And there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of the visitation. Chapter 12 Righteous art thou, O Lord, when I plead with thee, and let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore, that the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are all they happy, they deal very treacherously? Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root, they grow, they bring forth fruit, Thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. But thou, O Lord, knowest me. Thou hast seen me and tried mine heart toward thee. Pull them out of 
out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the holy day of slaughter. How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of the field be the for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed and the birds, because they said he shall not see our last end. If thou hast run with the footmen, and they have wearied thee. How then can thou contend with horses? And if in the land of peace wherein thou trusted, they wearied thee, then how wilt thou do in the swelling of Jordan? For even thy brethren and the house of thy father, even they have dealt treacherously with thee. Yea, they have called a multitude after thee. Believe them not, though they speak fair words unto thee. Yea, I have forsaken mine house, I have left my heritage, I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. Mine heritage is unto me as a lion in the forest. It cries out unto me, therefore have I hated it. Mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion under foot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wickedness. They have made it desolate, and being desolate, it mourneth unto me. The whole land is made desolate, because no man layeth it to heart. The spoilers are come upon all high places through the wilderness, for the sword of the Lord shall devour. Sorry, from one end to the other end of the land, even to the other end of the land, no flesh shall have peace. They have sown wheat, but shall reap thorns. They have put themselves to pain, but shall not profit. They shall be ashamed of your revenues because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Thus says the Lord against all my evil neighbors that touch the inheritance which I have caused my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among them. And it shall come to pass after that I have plucked them out, I will return and have compassion on them and I will bring them again, every man to his heritage and every man to his land. And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name, the Lord liveth as it taught my people to swear by Baal. Then shall they be built in the midst of my people. But if they will not obey, I will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation, says the Lord. Chapter 13 Thus says the Lord unto me, Go and get thee a linen girdle, and put it on thy loins, and put it not in water. So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord, and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, Take the girdle that thou hast got, which is upon the loins. Arise, go to Euphrates and hide it there in the hole of the rock. So I went and hid it by Euphrates as the Lord commanded me. And it came to pass after many days that the Lord said to me, Arise, go to Euphrates, take the girdle from there, which I commanded thee to hide thee. And I went to Euphrates and digged and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it. And behold, the girdle was marred, it was profitable for nothing. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus says the Lord, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah, and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so I have caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, says the Lord that they might be unto me for a people, for a name, for a praise, for a glory, but they would not hear. Therefore thou shalt speak unto them this word, Thus says the Lord, the Lord God of Israel, Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto thee, Do we cert not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shalt thou say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon David's throne, and the priests and the prophets and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness, and I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, says the Lord. I will not pity nor spare nor have mercy, but destroy them. Hear ye and give ear, be not proud, for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God, before, because he causeth darkness, and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains, and while he look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death, and make it cross darkness. 
but if you'll not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret places for your pride, and mine eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears, because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourself, sit down, for your principality shall come down, even the crown of your glory. The cities of the south shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. Lift up your eyes, and behold them that come from the north. Where is the flock that was given thee, thy beautiful flock? What wilt thou say unto, say when he shall punish thee? For thou hast taught them to be captains, and as chief for thee shall not sorrows take thee as a woman in travail. And if thou say in my heart, Wherefore come these things upon me? For the greatness of thine iniquity are thy skirts discovered, and thy heels made bare. Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also be good, and that are accustomed to evil. Therefore will I scatter them as a stubble that passeth away by the wind of the wilderness. This is thy Lord, the portion of thy measures from me, says the Lord, because thou hast forgotten me, and is trusted in falsehood. Therefore will I discover thy skirts upon thy face, that they, thy shame may appear. I have seen thine adulteries and thy neighings, the lewdness of thy wordom, and thy abominations on the hills of the field. Woe unto thee, O Jerusalem, will thou not be made clean? When shall it once be? That's the end of the reading of the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapters 11, 12, and 13.